Oh, this is going to trigger a whole bunch of people. We've all had this happen. We have a chat with our friends or family, and the next thing we know, our timelines are filled with ads about the exact same thing we were just speaking about. Coincidence, or are our phones secretly recording us? Well, we're going to find out. So a little while ago, I uploaded a video onto the channel where I investigated if our smart speaker, the Google Home Mini, is secretly recording us. Some people were not a fan. So let's put this one to the test. Are companies like Facebook, Apple, and Google secretly using our phones to record us so they could serve us better ads? Well, I set up an experiment. I reset a phone to factory default so it was wiped clean. I created a new Gmail account and a new Facebook account. The only app I installed was Facebook onto that phone. I connected that phone to its own Wi-Fi so no other computer or device on my network would have any influence on that traffic. I then recorded this conversation. Hey honey, what do you think about going to Hawaii for a vacation? I mean, wouldn't it be really awesome to just chill on the beach for a while? Could hire a car from someone like Avis or stay at the Hilton Hotel. I wonder how much a trip like that would be. I wonder if anyone's got any vacation deals. Maybe Southwest even flies direct from Dallas to Hawaii. I put that on a loop and let the audio play continuously for an hour a day over a seven day period while slowly driving my family insane. Oh, what I only do for you to hit that subscribe button. So every day I would scroll through my Facebook feed to see if there are any ads to do with anything in the recorded message. I also opened up three websites to see if any of those ads were related to my looped audio conversation. I was looking for things like Avers, Hilton, hotel deals, Hawaii vacation, or anything even related. And that's the only thing I did on that phone. No other apps were installed and obviously no browsing or YouTubing was done. Just that. One eternity later. So after seven days, what happened? Well, after seven days, not a single ad had anything close to do with what the audio was playing. Just totally random ads about many different topics and not a single one of them was about a vacation anywhere in the world. Okay, so why are so many people convinced that it is actually happening? Well, there's this thing called the frequency illusion or the bader meinhof phenomenon. This is when your awareness of something increases, leading you to think that it's actually happening more, even though that's not really the case. It's like hearing that song once and all of a sudden that song is pretty much everywhere. Or when you're thinking about getting a yellow car and all of a sudden there are so many yellow cars on the road. Same thing is happening with Facebook, Google or anything else that serves us ad. We talk about some things, so our brain is more attuned to that thing, so it starts to notice ads for that. So how do they know to send you that ad in the first place? Well, they're not actually recording you as you give them all the information with your click. Look, we know that everything we do online is tracked and logged. In fact, all these free platforms are so good at building very detailed profiles on each and every single one of us that they know us better than we know ourselves. Don't believe me? Uh, let me show you just how much Facebook and Google know about you. Okay, let's start off with Google. So go to adsettings.google.com, link will be in the description, and you'll be taking to this page. This is your ad personalization, and if that is on, well, they're logging all this data on you. Check how much information they have. They know exactly what I'm into, what I've been watching, what I've been clicking on, everything categorized into various buckets so that advertisers can essentially send me ads. Now, if you go right to the top and you click on this link, control ad personalization on other websites and apps, look what happens. It takes you to another website. This isn't Google itself, but they're all these cookie collectors. These are all ad networks that store so much information about us and are able to sell that so that people can send targeted ads for us. So next up, let's do Facebook. The link is in the description because as usual with Facebook, nothing is straightforward. So you get to this particular page, you click on the ads on the left-hand side, and then on the left-hand side again, you click on add settings. Now, as the middle of the page, as you scroll down, categories used to reach you. Click on that and prepare to be impressed or unimpressed, one of the two. So click on interest categories and here you'll see everything that Facebook has categorized you. Oh, click on see all interest, why not? And look at how long this list, this is actually fast forwarded in, in double speed. 
Okay, go to audience-based categories as well, audience-based advertising, and again, once you'll see information on you, even stuff that comes off Facebook, and I'll show you that, and we're gonna fast forward the list as well because it's a pretty darn long list. Right, let's go back to the main menu. We were on ads. Now let's go to the top where it says privacy. Let's click on that. And then you got something called your Facebook information. Click on that. And in the middle, download your profile information. Click on view. Now, this is where Facebook has all the information about you and you can request access to all of this. And a few moments later, you're gonna get a basically a zip file that you can install on your computer. This is interesting. Look under location, primary public location. That one was interesting. So let's go and click on primary public location. And now basically it says, look, we know your primary location based on public information from your profile memberships and public groups so see it's about inferring things about you if you like that one you're gonna love this one these are advertisers who uploaded a contact list with your information even though you didn't shop at these particular locations they have stuck your details into the system or somebody else has and they've created something called a look alike audience in other words they take all their customer base stick it into facebook and it creates an audience based on common denominators common traits amongst all their customers so that they could target you with even better and smarter ads making you think they're listening to you Okay, now some of you are thinking, but I swear, I never typed any of this online. How do they get that information? Well, to you I say, how do you know? I mean, let's be honest, we do so much online, it's impossible to record every single like that we've done, every single retweet, every single click, every single website, every single related blog post. It simply is too much information for our brains to categorize. Also remember that these systems have such advanced AI technology that they are pretty smart at making connections and inferring things together. But look, I realize that for some of you, nothing I'm gonna say will convince you and you swear that you didn't search or click or anything and the phone is 100% definitely listening to you. And to you, I guess, what can I say? You do you, boo. But when I look at the data, the sheer monstrosity of data of billions of people from around the world and the crunching power that would require to process speech to text just to get the info that we already give it to them with our click, this simply doesn't make any sense. Your mouse clicks is literally giving them this information for free all the time. I'm happy to be wrong, so if you have proof or a link to some data or white papers, please link them in the comments so I can investigate. In the meantime, check out this video over here where I look at smart speakers to see if they're secretly recording you. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in this video over here or I'll see you in this one or both. I can probably see you in both. Let's go.